Hey guys, this is SP737 and welcome back today to another video inside of my awesome world and it's another lovely sunny day So let's go and head down to Fred's challenge shack and see what today's challenge is going to be to get my breakfast So we'll jump off here and we'll go straight down. No messing about. I'm I'm hungry as you can see My uh, my hunger bar is, uh, is getting hungry and hungry. So let's see what the challenge is today. Good morning, Fred. Good morning, Chicho. Hello, Chicho. I'm this way, yes. <laughs> so today's challenge is to make us both go invisible. By us, I assume you mean you and Sean. So you want me to make you both go invisible. That I can do, Fred. That I can do. You you just wait there. I can make that happen, okay? So what we're going to need to do this is a few, uh, a few ingredients, a machine, and then... Uh, a nice little splash. I'm sure you know what I'm going to do. So <laughs> I'm going to go and head down to my little potion making room and we're going to make an invisibility splash potion and then splash it over them both. So uh, to do that, we are going to need to select the uh, the, the, th the things for invisible in potions. So uh, first of all, you need a potion of night vision. Okay, so we're going to do that. It is then going to be, uh, you need then to put a negative effect on it, so uh, a fermented spider eye, and we then need to put, uh, let's add some time to it as well, so we'll put the redstone on, and then let's add a bit of uh, splash to it, and if it all has gone to plan, uh, they should all be lined up here, so we have the carrot, we have the fermented spider eye, we have the redstone, and then the gunpowder should come along here as well, there we go, so now, that's cooking itself. And uh, they will make, when I come back, it'll be an invisibility potion. That's like the most easiest way to make potions is to be able to press a few buttons. So I'm going to, I'm going to leave that to go. Okay, I'm going to have a bit of munch on bread as well, because you've got to, haven't you? Uh, so I'm going to have a little munch on bread. And what I'm going to do is go and get a dog before, while I wait for that. I think that's a smart thing to do, isn't it? You know, go to the old, the old dog house and grab us, uh, grab us a dog. Because I haven't brought one for a while. It has been a while. And I'm not going to be joined by anyone else today. Cosmo's just having a nice relaxing day, I think. I don't know if he's gone off exploring or if he's just sleeping or anything like that. But uh, we won't bother him today. It's just going to be just me. So, uh, yeah, let's go and get a, uh, a dog for the day. And uh, today's dog is going to be Dinnerbone. There we go. And I think that is all the dogs as well. So, uh, let me go and uh, load up the old uh, the old randomizer again. There we go. So, uh, the dog randomizer is reloaded and all the dogs are back in the game. But Dinnerbone, here we go. <laughs> I love Dinnerbone. He, he has his own custom way of sitting. He sits on the, on the carpet. Come on then, Dinnerbone. You, uh, you come with me. <laughs> I just laugh every time I see him, like, walking, like, it's the funniest thing in the world. So, anyway, we'll go and get my potion. I just want to see him walking. Look at <laughs> oh, it. never gets old. It never gets old, does it? In fact, also, I can show you a few things have changed in my world. So, uh, let's have a little see. You may have noticed, the eagle-eyed ones of you, that, uh, it's something over here has changed. I've actually flattened off a bunch, a load of this mountain, and, uh, yeah. I got rid of Penny's house, and I got rid of and P Penny and P Penny and Peter's house, and uh, also Anna's house has all been uh, all been destroyed. I've I've got rid of it, but I rebuilt them. Don't worry, they've just been moved. They've moved locations. So if we go over this way, you will see that I have rebuilt their house just round here. So we've got uh, a little uh, a little pathway going along here, and uh, here is uh, is Anna's house, and it's actually Anna and Hannah's house because we've got we've got uh, Hannah. Here we go, Hannah the Siamese cat, and we've got Anna as well, so Anna and Hannah's house is, is now here, and if we go over here, we've also got Pizza and Penny's house, so uh, there we go, they're both in here as well, all happy, so uh, that was a successful uh, house moving thing, and the reason I've done that is because I just wanted to get rid of that mountain, so I could actually clear some space and kind of start building in that area, so there are going to be some things to be built in that area in the future, okay, so probably a lot of that mountain may uh, may go, you know, and uh, yeah, just because I'm kind of running out of space over this side, so I need to move on to this side now, <laughs> so uh, that's uh, that's happened, that's happened in between episodes, and I, I think that's pretty much all I need to update you with that I can think of, so yeah. They've uh, they've moved house, uh, so uh, yeah. Let's uh, let's go and uh, well, let's go and get what we need to get. Then I've, uh, I've completely forgotten. Okay, <laughs> let's uh, let's go and get those potions. Will definitely be ready now, won't they? Okay, we've we I did a lot more than I was actually expecting to do. We'll have a little munch on some bread as well, because I am getting a little bit hungry. So if we just take, uh, we'll just have one piece of bread for now. It's uh, it's no need to go overboard, is there? Uh, so back down we go and. Uh, Let's see if we've got the potion brewed absolutely perfectly. I could make it into a lingering potion if I really wanted to, if I had some dragon's breath. But I think what we'll do is we'll just stick to these. So we've got the splash potions of invisibility, and we have three of them. Okay, let's go, go, go then, and uh, put it together. This is the uh, the fun part of the whole thing, isn't it? This is the very fun part. So, uh, yeah, we'll go and uh, go around to Fred's Challenge Shack and give him... The, uh, the treatment, he'll do what he asked for. It's eight minutes. They're going to be gone for most of the episode. Once I splash this, <laughs> I won't be able to see them. Hello, Fred. Hello. Get ready for this. Okay, Sean. He's not going to know we're here. I'm going to just throw it straight down the middle, and it should get him both. No, nope, that didn't work. Hold on. Dun, dun. Oh, no, I got me as well. <laughs> We've all gone invisible. How long have I got? I only got four seconds of it, but I think they probably got quite a bit more. So, 
<laughs> yeah, there we go. And I'm going to just put these uh, these other these extra two to one side for now. Uh, but I can always come back and use them. But I, I think that was kind of cool, wasn't it? There we go. And uh, I can enjoy my reward fish. And I think, did I get dinner bone as well? Dinner bone? I think, I think dinner bone's invisible, maybe. <laughs> I don't know where he's gone, if not. <laughs> Either he's invisible or he's, uh, he's disappeared. Anyway, today we're going to be building something in my house. And now, I did not I did say nothing else has changed, but something else has changed. Da -da. I have I have decided to build... Because like this, down this way, you know, you can go down there, down to the cellar, and you've got all sorts of things, like you saw where the potion room was and stuff. But down here, there's going to be another area, I've decided. So I've built a, a little tunnel. It's quite hard when you're building tunnels, because I've built so many, like, stuff, so much stuff underground. Like, I think, like, just up there that way is a, um, is my mushroom farm, and then, you know, just tunnels everywhere and stuff like that, so I had to be kind of careful, but I've, uh, I've built this down, I'm gonna build a room in here, so it's like, it's like a basement, you could, uh, you could say, a cellar, uh, but, uh, yeah, today we're gonna be building a snooker room, and, uh, we have a creeper in here, that's, that's not good news, okay, <laughs> yeah, you're, you're not invited to this place, I'm afraid, uh, so there we go, we're going, uh, we're going to take down this creeper, so, I'm gonna, cause, cause basically, you know, in my ideal, my goodness, where did you come from? Like, you weren't there a second ago, wait. But in my ideal house, my house would have a room just dedicated to having a snooker table. Like, that would be like a, a, a goal of mine. You know, like, if I, when I get a house, that's what I, uh, I want. So I'm like, well, I've got my, I'm a, I've got a house in Minecraft. Why don't I, uh, why don't I make that? Like, you know, this Minecraft house should be my dream house. So that's what we're going to be doing. Now, I have no idea where Dinner Bone has got to. Like, I kind of miss him. I don't want him to be invisible. And I don't. I don't think he got spotted unless he was stood really near. But I feel like I'd be able to see the bubbles. So I'm not too sure where he is. Hopefully he's okay. <laughs> right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this in. So yeah, I've kind of just chiseled out all the area, and then what we can do is we can just get building it and, and everything. Just put it all together. And so it shouldn't take too long to uh, to put together. Uh, yeah, it would take a lot longer though if I hadn't pre-chiseled this out. Then it would be a long, long video, wouldn't it? So uh, yeah, we're just going to start by putting this black wool here, as you can see. I have got more resources, and the fact that I've got like in a, in in, uh, in a chest as well, and uh, the fact that I live it, I'm living, I'm working in my house means that if I do run out of any resources in uh, full stop, then I can easily go to my chest room and just pick up some more. You know, it's not a not a problem, so it's quite good, isn't it? Uh, so we'll just yeah, carry on going in with all of this. All of this wool, there we go. And then we're going to do this uh, this final layer around here as well. So we're going to be having two snooker tables in here. There you are, dinner bone. I've I've been looking for you. <laughs> there you go. I'm not I'm not going to turn you invisible. That's for, for sure. If, if you were before, I uh, I do apologise. Don't don't do this, dinner bone. Okay, you can you can sit there. There we go. Do you need a uh, do you need a block to sit on? There you go. You could sit on that block. <laughs> I love doing that because it just looks, makes him look like he's upside down. There you go, dinner bone. Oh oh, there you go. Just sit there. Don't panic. Okay. It looks very happy, doesn't it? All right, let's get back to work then. So, yeah, we'll carry on filling all of this in. And, uh, yeah, basically what I'm planning on doing is doing the floors, doing the roof, and then doing the middle. That's probably going to be the best way to do it, isn't it? You know, get all the, the floors and, and roof and walls out of the way. Uh, walls as well, yeah. I want to do the walls as well to get, get all that out of the way. So, uh, let's uh, let's go, go, go with that. Perfect. So, that's that bit done. And I just need to do, yeah, just this little bit in here. And then what I'm going to do is going to put a layer of bricks in. Uh, and uh, then I'm going to do the rest as red wool. So, yeah, should all be perfect. So we've got the uh, the layer of stone bricks. Uh, yes, yeah, stone bricks, not regular bricks, because I don't think regular bricks would really fit the theme for this one, would they? I think, yeah, they're just a little bit out, not going to lie. <laughs> so let's go and bring this around here, perfect. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to do all the red wool. I think I will. I'll put all the red wool down, because I think it's all going to be needed uh, at the end of the day. Isn't it? I mean, I was just thinking I could put something... I, like, where the snooker tables are going to be, do you really need to put red wool down? But I think I, I'm going to, just to be on the safe side, so... We'll go and get all this filled in like this. There we go. It's going very perfect indeed. It's, it's yeah, it's very straightforward uh, build as well. Now that we've got no more creeper spawning, it's even better. It's even better, isn't it? So we'll carry on getting all of this filled in. I'm about to run into dinner bone at any moment as well, I feel like. I don't know if I've, I've, I don't think I'm going to have enough red wool in, in my inventory, that's for sure. But hopefully I have enough in the chest because, yeah, it's quite a heavy, uh, he uh, like quite a big build. Like, you know, you, you think, okay, it's built inside, and just because you're building, like, one room, you think it's not too much, but you've got to kind of think, I'm almost building the outside of a room from the inside, if that makes sense, you know? Because I'm, I'm kind of doing the equivalent of, of the outside of a room, I'm just, yeah, placing it in uh, as the uh, the walls for the inside. 
Whereas if you were doing a build on the outside, you'd, you'd, your outside walls would also be the walls of the inside of the building, wouldn't they? You know what I mean? So it's kind of the same the same thing, just as big a build as anything else. So yeah, that's why, I, again, that's why I chiseled it out, because it is a big build. <laughs> uh, so uh, we're going, yeah, just put this in. This, this I don't know if this is going to be, did I bring two stacks of red wall? I hope I did, otherwise I'm going to, I'm a bit of an idiot. I'm going to be honest with you, it's a bit of a stupid thing not to bring two stacks of, uh, of red wall. I could just majorly uh, miscalculated. Let's have a little see. Yeah, I just majorly miscalculated, it would seem. I, I'm an idiot. I, just, I shouldn't have said all that stuff now, because now it's... Oh, no, I didn't I didn't bring it a full stop. I just... I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a double idiot, you guys. I mean, I know you already knew that, but now it's been confirmed. So let's go around here. I, I, like I say, though, it's very handy to have my chess room right on the doorstep, because, uh, yeah, I've got uh, all this, uh, this stuff. So we go right down here. Uh, we should be able to pick up some red wool. Whilst I'm here, I'm going to pick up a bit of black wool as well. I don't see why. Th th there's no harm in that, is it? So I'll go and grab a couple of stacks of red wool. Uh, we'll go and grab a couple of stacks. Well, I've got a lot of black wool. And uh, we'll go and grab a couple of stacks of blue wool. So uh, there we go. My uh, my poor sheep get sheared so much. <laughs> so we'll go, and, we'll go and fill up on the uh, on food. And then we'll head back, get back to work. It's only been a small journey to top up on resources, hasn't it? So that's been good. And also, what I can do now is actually chuck some of this, uh, some uh, some junk in as well, because I have managed to pick a bit of gunpowder, which I'm not particularly wanting. Uh, we can also get rid of a couple of those stone bricks. Watch me end up needing those stone bricks or something like. I, I'm just two stone bricks short. <laughs> I'll be kicking myself. <laughs> Then again, they're not not too hard to get. I am in a uh, underground where it's just like unlimited stone stuff. So you know what? I'm probably okay. Probably okay. So uh, yeah, let's go and grab, uh, go and put down the rest of this red wool. Sorry, didn't Do you want to move? There we go. Ooh. Please move. There we go. I, I I asked you if you wanted to. Now I'm telling you you need to move. Okay. <laughs> so let's go and do uh, do that. Uh, can you uh, can you come over here? There we go. And if I just. Ooh, ooh. I like your speed. That's what I like to see, punctuality. So I'm just going to sit you down there because uh, you haven't got a lot of space to run around in really in here, have you? So I'm going to have to be quite uh, quite restrictive on you. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to get blue wool. I'm going to do like, just do the walls. So the walls are going to be not just like a plain colour. They're going to be a little bit patternized just to make it look that little bit more interesting, you know what I mean? Because... You know, there's nothing worse than going into a room and it just being dull and boring. That's what I say. I, I like to see a room that's nice and vibrant and, and looks and looks good and colourful. So that's why we're going to be um, doing all this. So uh, this this bit is just like literally alternating with blue. And then there's going to be various things in there. Uh, we can go and put all of this blue uh, blue wool right the way across as well. That's working perfectly. Uh, so I'll tell you what we'll do. I, I'm thinking, do the walls, okay? And then walls. once the walls are done, then I'm going to do the snooker tables. And then I'm going to do the roof, and then any any lighting that goes with that. Okay, I think that's probably going to be the uh, the smartest thing. In fact, that is in the wrong place. I'm going to just have this just one to the right, uh, just because it's not the same proportions as the uh, as that wall there. Okay, uh, so we'll go and put these in like that. There we go, perfect. And then we'll go and do uh, a gap of one there, and then these are going to be gaps of one all the way across, uh, just like this. There we go, until we get to the very end, which is going to be a gap of two. So I might as well do that now, get it out of the way. There we go, perfect. And that is that. Right, let me get rid of that. And let's just go carry on and get these, uh, yeah, I think start with the blue. That's almost like the, the priority. It's gone very dark in here now, isn't it? So let's just put those down. The last thing I want is any mobs in here, yeah. They're, they're not invited. This is just for me to play snooker in this room. Nobody else. Nobody else. So yeah, we'll bring this right the way across there. There we go, perfect. And then this can go all the way back across like this. And then we'll uh, bring it down and then we'll do the little, the little like pattern bits in between as well. So on this back wall, uh, it's just going to be uh, ones like this, but until we get towards the middle, okay, so I need to try and work out where the middle is, actually, I think, there's the middle, so we'll go and do, uh, do that, there we go, and then we'll bring this across like that, there we go, and I'll just put this back as well, there we go, perfect, <laughs> so let's just finish this off now, there we go, job done, and now I've just got one, uh, well, I've got one and a half walls to do, really, so it's not a big, uh, a big task ahead at all, I don't know why I put all the torches so, so low, because now they're all in the way, aren't they, <laughs> I suppose they were always going to be in the way, weren't they, at some point, they always had to be moved, didn't they? Uh, so, uh, oh no, oh okay. That's that. I can I can let myself off for placing one block in the wrong place, but to place two, yeah, well, that's unforgivable, isn't it? So what I'm thinking as well is, uh, yeah. So the the roof is just going to be completely black. No uh, no pattern on that. Just uh, a straight up black uh, black roof. I think that's going to be easier. So uh, this is going to be the same as the other wall as well. So. Uh, just, uh, yeah, just like this, as you see, the gap of two at the end, but then just the rest are all gaps of one. And I think I'm going to have enough blue wool here as well, which is very, you know, a nice, a nice, uh, a nice way to go, isn't it? So put that there. There we go. That's, that's all perfect. Okay, so next thing to do is grab some black wool and go around and, uh, and do all of this. So uh, it's going to be black wool in uh, here. Uh, we're then going to have, uh, let's have a little, a little see. We're going to put black wool in here. 
and then black wool in here. There we go. I can't seem to stop placing it in the wrong uh, the wrong place at the moment, can I? And then this is going to be black wool, and then we're going to be putting redstone lamps in some of the other ones, okay? Uh, so let me just bring that across there, which is going to be handy actually, because we are we are starting to need light. We're we're, we're running low on it. That's for to be sure. Is uh, I'm, I'm running on torches, which is is not what I'm planning on doing. I'm planning on making it look a little bit nicer than just torches, really. Uh, so yeah, redstone lamps are going to be the way to uh, to go for this. Uh, so let's just go and put these along here. So. Uh, yeah, and then there's going to be that gap of two, and then again, we're going to put this here, a gap, and then put these along like this. I think I've, I think I've done that bit right. Okay, it's all, it's all going well. So far, I can't complain. <laughs> uh, so I'm assuming that this was uh, like, because it's like the other one. Yep, leave a gap, and it's literally just alternating all the way to the end now. Perfect. Right, we'll go and just bring this very quickly in. Okay, I did not do this last bit of wall. I didn't do this last bit of wall, did I? I skipped me me uh, me duties. Okay, let's uh, let's not waste uh, waste any time then in getting it done. It's a pretty quick bit as well, isn't it? Yeah. So uh, what I'm gonna do is just put that in there. There we go. Put that in there. Um, yeah, it was literally I think just alternating all the way across was this one actually. I think uh, not not too hard. Easy to not go wrong basically. Hard hard to screw up. <laughs> I mean, I'd, I'd find a way, no doubt, but uh, even me, I think, has, uh, has managed to do this one. So, there we go, and we'll just put another torch down. It's just a little bit dark, isn't it, in, in that area. So, yeah, what we'll do now is we'll get on with the snooker tables, okay? The uh, the main the main attraction, you could say. So, let's start off. Uh, we need a bit of spruce wood, actually. I have some wood. I just gonna, I need the planks, actually. So, uh, that should uh, be enough. Uh, so, we're going to go to here, and we're going to go one, two, three, four, five across. Then we're going to bring these nine along. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Uh, so, we can just connect all of this up. And as I said, there's going to be two snooker tables in here. Uh, so, there we go. That's one. And if we go across, leave a gap of two, and then go oh, five there. <laughs> let's get this, uh, get this right. we we'll just get rid of that. There we go. Uh, I think I may need a few more planks at this rate as well. Yeah, I'm uh, just a bit short on it. So, let's go and make a few of them. There we go. That should be more than enough now. Uh, so, you're out of place. Get back in line. <laughs> uh, so, we'll bring that to there. And then finally, we'll bring that up all the way like that. So, that's that's nicely done. And if I just grab trap doors now and actually go around the outside like this, this just creates that ne nice extra effect of, uh, of kind of being around the outside of the... Uh, this is like the outside bit of the table almost because you're not going to be able to see the top of the uh, the wood. So, this is uh, this is very much necessary. You, you see what I mean? You'll see what I mean when I finish with the trap doors because right now it's, it's kind of hard to explain why the trap doors are so necessary. But uh, basically, what we're going to be doing now is there's going to be carpet going right the way along the top of this. So all of a sudden, yeah, you can only see the sides of the wood, which is why the trap doors just bring that extra bit of effect to it, okay? Uh, so we'll go and just put these along like that. Uh, I'm going to grab, uh, let's have a see, just a little bit of glowstone on the inside. There we go. That's that's brightening things up quite a bit, hasn't it? <laughs> And then what we're going to do is we're just going like, to have some snooker cues. So we're going to put one here, one here, and one here like this. Uh, so these are my cues. And then what we do is we just go like this. If you place on the side, it doesn't work on placing it on top. You have to place it on the side of another block or on the side of the carpet. And then you get this kind of effect, which does look like snooker cues, okay? So uh, let's have a little see. What blocks do I have that aren't too important? I guess wood is um, is pretty is pretty common at the moment. So let's just go and grab... A load of wood, and I'm just going to fill in. Uh, let me put the. So let's just get this right. We're going to put the signs in. We're also going to put the wood in, okay? And uh, yes, yeah, so we're going to put uh, three signs here as well, just to have two snooker cues on the table. And then I'm going to fill the rest in with wood, and then put carpet on the top of the wood, okay? So it's going to look like it's just it's just straight carpet. You won't be able to see any of the wood at all, actually. So. There we go, and uh, that, that just extra bit of glowstone, yeah, just creates a bit of lighting in the middle because there's going to be lighting around the outside, but not uh, not on the inside, so uh, we'll just place these on top like that. Perfect, okay, so that's one snooker table, as you can see, and we're going to go and do the uh, the second one exactly the same. So uh, I think what I'm going to do, though, is maybe put a, uh, a cue like that. I can't really put them at an angle, otherwise it just it just looks a bit strange if I put them at an angle, so they're both just straight to uh, to make it look like that. Just make it look nice. And we'll have that in the the middle, and then we'll go and fill the rest in with this spruce wood. So there we go, perfect. And finally, yeah, I'll just go and put the uh, the uh, the lime carpet all the way over the top. Now I, I know I have enough. I, I think I have another ch stack somewhere. I don't know if I put it in the chest or if it's actually in my inventory. No, it's in my inventory, so we can just go and use it straight up like this. That's handy, isn't it? Uh, so I'll do the the bits over the signs last because that's just a little bit more delicate than the rest, isn't it? So there we go. So you have to 
You have to crouch to actually place it on top of a sign, okay? And then it's quite easy. I didn't even realize that myself. I was placed on the side of other carpets, but literally just crouch and it'll go on the sign. And because the signs are a little bit big, they uh, they actually come and peep out the top of the blocks, which always looks nice. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you can see it looks a little bit strange right now, but if we just go around with these trap doors, it will look a lot nicer. So we'll go and just do that all the way around. And then that's that's both of the uh, the pool tables complete. Well, snooker tables, sorry, completely done. Although you could call them pool tables. Like if I just used a different color, they would, they would just fit straight into being a pool table. Wouldn't they? Uh, so let's just go and put uh, this uh, along here. Oh, the pool tables are a lot smaller, so maybe I would I would make the queues bigger or something. I don't I don't know what I do. <laughs> but yeah, that's um, that's my snooker tables uh, in this uh, this room. So there's going to be some seating around the outside. I'm uh, going to be the roof. There's going to be some lights above the tables which you can turn on and off. And there's going to be these lights all the way around the outside. So uh, let me just show you what's uh, what's going to be going on here. Let's um, let's have a little see. So we're going to need the pick. We're going to need that. We're going to need a redstone torch. There we go. So. Basically, if I mine away at this, I'm going to put a redstone torch there and uh, also a, a piece of redstone here. And then that's going to go and all three of them will light up by doing that little little mechanism. So uh, as you can see, that, that does that. So uh, yeah, the redstone, ooh, not, not the right thing. The redstone torch powers the um, the, the middle uh, the middle lamp. So the redstone torch powers that one. The block above the redstone torch gets powered, which then powers this one. And uh, the bottom one gets powered by the redstone so there you go you see so it's uh it's pretty straightforward really easy easy redstone and not expensive at all to power all three of them as well which is really handy because you know originally I, I was thinking maybe use like redstone blocks on each one but that's like nine redstone so that would have been a lot more expensive so this was definitely a cheaper option to uh, to do it oops i've uh, i've overdone it i've got carried away there let's just put that back <laughs> And then we'll put these in here like that. Perfect. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is go and put all the, uh, do all these walls, get the roof in and put the lights on. And I'm going to rig the lights up to a lever as well, which is a little bit, it's not, it's not complicated, but it's quite time consuming. So I'm going to do that as well. So get all this build finished. And when that's done, I shall be right back. <laughs> So I'm currently in the roof right now, and I've done most of uh, the redstone, pretty much all of it, in fact. So uh, here are the lamps, and what I've done is just literally run redstone over the top of them. And I've done the same thing here over these ones. Uh, so now, if I go across here, uh, right down here, so you can see the signal goes uh, across through here uh, 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 by this uh, redstone torch elevator. And if I flick this lever, you'll see all the torches change, and the lights turn on. I have unflick it, and the lights turn off. So there you go. I have a uh, my working table lights as well. And if we just go over here, I, uh, I'll just show you. I kind of had to do something a little bit different here to make this work. Uh, at least I just end up putting redstone torches everywhere. Uh, because, um, yeah, when it's... When it's two together, the redstone on the bottom wasn't activating these bottom ones, so I had to replace some repeaters in there. Now, those repeaters do activate, uh, because this repeater is going to activate these top ones, but also the torches do as well. And the torches send the signal into these blocks that are closest and uh, activates that. So that all works also. And I just need to... Um yeah, go and grab some stuff out of this chest, actually, and also uh, a bit of extra black and wo blue wool also. Yeah, so we'll go and put uh, some blue wool right here. We'll put some black wool there. There we go. That's all of that nicely patched up. And, uh, yeah, just going to grab a few decorational things from here. Yeah, just some, some nice... Uh, Random things in the corner, so we'll put some uh, bookshelf with plant pots on, then we'll put some flowers in those as well, you know, just to make it look a little bit decorated, because these corners look a little bit empty at the moment, don't they? So I think just adding a little something in there will uh, help, won't it? So we'll just we'll just uh, alternate the colours diagonally as well. So there we go, what we just had, we just had a yellow, so put a red in this corner, and then finally we will put another yellow flower in this corner. So here we go, this is my finished snooker room, so we can put the lights off for now, we're not... We're not playing snooker, are we? So, uh, yeah, I think um, I'm quite proud of it. I think it looks really, uh, really nice. Uh, nice luxury room in my uh, my house where I can go downstairs. This we've got dinner bone has been very well uh, well behaved all episode as well, haven't we? And uh, what have we got? We've got much left in this chest. Not too much left actually. Let's go and uh, mine away at this and clean up. So I probably end up building more stuff down here. And I'm, I'm, I mean, in the future, yeah, just like an extra area, isn't it? So we'll see how uh, that goes. You can see also I added the uh, the chairs in around the outside. I put signs in, so you can, a lot of people could sit and watch if they wanted. It's, it's quite a luxury room. Without a doubt. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you for yeah, thank you very much for watching. As I said, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please do be sure to leave a like, and also please do subscribe if you're new to the channel for daily videos of Minecraft. And as I said, thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I will see you guys next time.